Okay, so picking off from last time, I'm going to keep doing in the shading. Um, and this is shading is not exactly just to do against the lighting. It's also to do the same thing that we did with the intermediate. We're trying to get all of the uh, surfaces that bend away from the viewer the darkest. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm actually going to do this slightly. Um... What we're gonna do is because right this edge this this edge is facing toward the viewer and then this plane is not so we're gonna make that just a little bit darker just just a teeny tiny bit darker Okay, we're gonna do that also the, the rest of the way down. The temple, okay, like that. Oh wait, whoops. Sorry, shouldn't have done should be this color. Wait, is it? Okay. Oh, oops. Messed up there. What was that? Did I... Yeah, that's from the last time. Okay, well, we're gonna have to, like... Yeah, we're gonna have to, like, mess with that a little. Okay! I'm gonna have to redo the chest now. Not a big deal, I guess. I'll... Yeah, since we're down here, okay. And also, since this chest isn't that, uh, actually pointed directly toward the light, we're gonna actually we're gonna give it a slight, it slightly darker. Okay, no, no. Get it to cover that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, right, see, because the right, this part of the chest is is Away is pointed slightly away from the light source. So we're gonna make this whole thing a little bit darker. probably do a little bit of the same thing on the arm here the bicep oh whoops I probably shouldn't mess with it too much.
I'm going to do the same thing. I... I know we'll leave those illegals there. Okay. We are going to do that same thing over here on the... Uh, on the forehead, because it bends away from the light source ever so slightly. Okay. I'm also going to do it here for the breach of the nose. Okay, yeah, that was too dark. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Try not to mess with it too much. I don't have any harm with the eyes to shape, be shaped. I think I like that more. It sort of wrinkles the the brow is kind of furrowing. Yeah, I'm gonna... So we're gonna kind of blur this out a little bit because... Um, latex actually doesn't allow you to do a lot of um, textures like that because it's... It doesn't like to bend. It's not very flexible. It'll depending how thick it is. Okay. Okay, we're going to line that up slightly. I think to get that to look. And I'm using the airbrush a lot, and you don't really, you probably shouldn't use that the airbrush as much as I am doing. So there should be some texture in a little bit in the fabric, just a teeny tiny bit, as it kind of, because it's not perfectly smooth. I want that edge to be nice and bright right here. Oops. OK. 
can't. All right. Da, 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 da. Okay, we'll move down to the arm in here. Okay, I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do this. So, I'm also thinking about the oven. So, the light source is coming from the right side, slightly above. So, most of this will be in shadow. Everything below her, her breasts will be shadowed. And most of the cape is going to cover it, so there might be a little bit down here that's a little bit lit. So we'll just do that to sort of remind ourselves we're going to have it lit. Oops. Alrighty. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do So we gotta get to the arm. We're not gonna worry about the wrist. We're not gonna just we're just gonna worry about the forearm right here. Do all of this. Okay, so Right, so some of that armor is bending away from us. I'm going to do a little bit of shadow here. Just because it's that's right where the arm, because of the muscle of the arm, it bends away from the light source. Okay, now we're going to add in little highlights. Okay, wait, I have it much, much darker here. Take this. I don't think that's unnecessary. Okay. <laughs> Let me see here. I'm trying to get I think I need to make some of these uh wrinkles a little bit thinner. So it's whether like shading on the inside or the outside of the line.
da, da, da. Yeah, cause I think they need to be very, very thin. I'm not making them thin enough. I don't... Okay, I do think there's a little bit more of... I gotta do a little bit more of a shine here somewhere. I'm gonna figure out where I need to put it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, okay, I think that's what I need to do. Okay, so... Like that more. Cause I, I, you need to do the sort of chain link fence. You you need to do a sort of diamond, um, kind of like, like look at accordions down. So if I were to keep going, I might actually add a little bit. Here like that. Actually, yeah, I think that's what I need to do right there. It needs to go. Or something very close to there. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that uh that line work right there. And that's why I separated from the, the rest of it, because I knew there was as I was painting I was gonna get rid of some of it. No, I'm just adding in wrinkles wherever. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay. Yeah, just blur that out. Because it has to meld in with the rest of it. Yeah, I think I need to get rid of that line right there. Hey, 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 hey. Let's see. Shoot. Huh. 
I know. Actually, since of like even since like high school, I really like fabric creases. Now we're gonna make that darker. Maybe tone it down just a slight bit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I'm still overboard. I'm overboarding it. Because I, I wanted a kind of rubbery, like latex look, so it can't have that many wrinkles. Okay, yeah, something like that. Okay. Back of the hand. Up the hardness, yay. Okay, since that the hand is pointed away from the viewer, make it really dark. Wrinkle, wrinkle. See. There we go. Got to do something a little bit here too. The little seams in the gloves. I probably shouldn't paint. I should probably like paint that in or put actual lines on it rather than put this in the shadow, like clear. But whatever. It'll work out. It'll work out. Let's see this one here. Actually, no, 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 no. Okay, this is going to be kind of a... I don't think I did the hand that well, but this, I guess so, this part of the finger pointed away from the light source. Let's see, get that. Or the light source. Using mostly harder brush settings right now since um, there's so many small creases in the gloves, it doesn't matter as much.
Eh. Whatever on the hands. <laughs> More of a like, shitting exercise rather than an anatomy exercise. Okay. Uh, ever since I discovered the C uh, keyboard shortcut, it helps me really a lot with like erasing, but I keep messing up as to whether I'm coloring or erasing. Yeah, that's true. But I did it really quick. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this line right here. I don't like that line right there. The wrinkle's coming up too too high up. Perfection! It must be perfect! There, I think that looks a little bit better to me. Hopefully people don't get dizzy watching this. Yeah. That's the thing, is like, right? Line art is. Like, pencils and stuff is kind of a planning. Kind of a planning stage. It's totally okay to erase stuff. But I know that there are times where I've, like, worked so hard on my line work, and then I'm, like, at the end, I'm like, oh, well, all for naught. Really gotta get rid of it now. Yeah. Trying to uh guess. Oh see but this this hand over here is really black, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. I gotta put more black on it. Okay. I think they sort of look more even as hands. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to do a little bit of a... Oops. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to do a dark highlight... Oh, rats. A dark highlight on the inside of this... Right here, and then kind of erase one to do a bright one on the inside of that. I want to show that edge, the edge of the glove. And do that on the same one over here.
And that needs to be big, bigger. Almost can't even see it. Okay. I gotta do things here for the uh, the fins. I don't know what these are. Okay, so that edge that is pointed toward us. Yeah, fins, yeah. Well, technically, bats are fish. <laughs> For all you evolutionary or bioevolution, wait, what is it? Evolutionary bioscience guys? Dallas, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I think... I don't... I mean, there's a certain amount of, like, retconning there, I think. Okay, actually, I'm gonna go back and do something a little bit different. I need to lasso this. Because I'm going to mess up the rest of the glove. Now we're going to do this. Okay, but we need to have more black. Like, picket spurs, yeah. Oh, yeah. Selected area. Get all the way black underneath. a little there. That's fine. Not a big deal. I'm going to assume that all of this here is like completely in shadow since it's it's like underneath the arm, underneath the cape. Uh, it'll just make things, my life easier. I thought the gloves are just stood out a little bit too much. Okay. Um. All right. I didn't really decide what I was doing with the cape here, so I'm gonna assume that this light source is catching it slightly. Okay. But it's also it's facing us very directly, but the light source it's very oblique and angled to the, the light source, so it's not gonna. Uh, I wasn't really in planning on doing anything else for the rest of it. For like, just it's just supposed to be the figure. 
or re this really is an exercise in just getting a really shiny, dark, um, uh, uh, spandex suit, or, well, latex suit. Belt and see here. This will all be like really smudged out and darkened in a second. Blur, blur, blur. Uh. Ah, airbrush. My favorite. Yeah, I airbrush is such a it's such a temptation to like just do everything in airbrush, but you really do need the sharp need those sharp edges sometimes, and it's really hard to like accept them at times. Okay, this isn't shouldn't be pointed at the viewer very. Shouldn't be that bright. It, needs, it does need to come down a little bit in darkness because it's, it's pointed away. It, it is pointed toward the viewer, but it's pointed away from the light source. Okay. Yeah, more or less. So we're gonna more or less stick with this one. We'll fill in. I guess the ah oh, the cape. Oh, I'll be cheap. I'll be least with the cape. Put that one in. Clip. And we'll just assume like the whole thing is like all oh, just like dark shadow here. Because we're going to get to something else. I want some. There's something else that I want to get to. All right. Um. Yeah, I'll assume all... So all the shading I'm doing here is from the yellow light source. Yeah. That's also the, the really, really fun thing about uh, inks. In black and white. Yeah. Yeah, and it's... I, like... 
kind of how I was explaining with the beginner version of this that I was doing is that sometimes you just need the lights and the darks to just to pull shapes out. You don't need to be very literal with the light source. It's just, it's just not that important sometimes. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll get to that later if, uh, if I really want to with the, the cape. Okay. Okay, so, um, what I really wanted to do with this one is do a really shiny, uh, latex. Ah, root beer. Um, so what I'm going to do up here is... There we go. Um, do a reflection layer. We're going to clip it. Do the same thing here. Okay, around top of everything. Okay, now... Okay, 47 is... Alejandro, you probably already know this, but this is I'm actually making this video for um somebody. Let's see my explanation here. Do, 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 do. Right. Sorry, right, as as something is more reflective, the smooth the smoother the surface is, the more reflective it is, and the more fidelity it'll have in reflecting detail. So for something that's really shiny. Uh, like a shiny latex, it's actually going to reflect the actual environment around around them. So if I go like this, so what we're going to do is we're going to change the camera size. We're going to go like this out like, whoops, whoops. Let me redo that. Uh, change camera size. Stretches out like that. Okay. So... So what's actually going to happen is whatever this background is here that's behind them. Let's just say like a it's, this is Gotham, so it's a dark alley. So we got like buildings behind them, and then maybe other buildings over here. We got the street going. Okay, we're gonna do I don't know. There's a horizon line. I don't know. Well. Technically, roads never reach the horizon line because there's always buildings in the way. So, dun, 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 dun. we're gonna do something like that. Okay. So this is this is just sort of to get an idea of what's happening. Okay. Okay. So I have this light source over here. So we're gonna actually kind of like kind of figure out what are we gonna do for this light source over here. Okay. Uh, so we can do windows, something. Uh, not too high though, or not too low rather. Okay. So maybe windows, or we can even actually let's not even do that. Let's do it even. Let's do an even better one. Okay. All right, again, horizon line, lines toward the horizon, but these are going to be the buildings for on the top, right? This is Batman, Batgirl. This purple, this purple light here is going to be a sign, like a neon sign behind Batgirl. Maybe we even make this like a, a building. That's a giant billboard, like a light up side of it. Okay. Okay, other uh, building, the building, the building. And so this other building that's over here, whatever this building is over here, is going to be lit up. We're going to light it up with some sort of sign. Maybe it'll say Wayne. 
Actually, that's a good idea. So just, not as a literal background, but we're just going to remind ourselves, okay, there's a sign over here that says Wayne for Wayne Industries. Or Enterprises, whatever the name of the company is. That's going to be the one that's reflected on, on her. Uh, on her. Costume. Now, so... Um, kind of fun is, right, if you have just a mirror like this, it's going to reflect the, the person, it's uh, going to reflect the objects in it the same as like that. Now, if this is, if this, uh, oops. If this mirror is funny shaped, Then the reflection will just get cut off. But if it's rounded like this, actually, what happens is this person gets reflected like this. Because this the the other stuff in, around them will also get reflected and go all the way around. And if it's kind of funny shaped, right, the person will also kind of adjust uh, to, to fit the width of it as long as it's round. So we're going to do the same thing actually. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about too much about the reflection because it's we're going to do things to actually make it um, a, a little bit kind of fuzzy. Yeah. So we're going to play fast and loose here. So right, like try to get to, to try to get the Wayne to actually fit on her face. <laughs> Right, so we're gonna basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the the background uh, on her face here in in small. Uh, actually, yeah, we're gonna we're I'm not gonna worry too much about um about the hard or soft looks because you'll see what's gonna happen in a second, and I'm just gonna go right on top of everything. So, kind of go follow the contours of her face. It's okay to be a little bit, kind of, it's okay to be a little bit squiggly on this one, it's fine, it's perfectly fine. It's actually going to help you a lot if it's, if it's squiggly. Gonna make that like. Cause I need it to be bigger. Right, mostly because right the um, her face is the front of her face is facing you, and so it's flatter, but the side is facing away from you, so it's gonna get kind of squished. Oh yeah, you're right. Dang it. I, that's good. That's a good point. I was telling myself not to do letters earlier, but I ended up doing letters. Okay. 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 
Okay, we'll do this one. We'll squish this one down. Like I said, don't worry too much about getting it exactly, like, correct. It's okay, and it's actually probably better for it to be messed up slightly. Yeah, and don't don't worry about the shading or anything. Just draw right over everything. Okay, so da, 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 da. Let's see. Okay. Now, so for the rest of the building, I'm trying to think of how would I do the rest of the building? So, kind of just do like, I guess, random windows or whatever. That's true. Um, the yeah. No, you don't have to be too. But like I said, like you don't have to be that accurate actually with this one. This part actually is not. Yeah, it's gonna be the kind of fun part here. Oh wait. See now now I'm messing up between the, the coloring and the uh Yeah. The, uh, the eraser. Okay. All right, I'm trying to now. You can also do it actually. Now, I kept extending it down her body. That's um. Now, if you actually can get it, well. Because uh, this is this part actually, I'm not entirely sure of, but you do, you can get the same reflection again, but usually on a different. It, it has to be bent in a different way. Right, but don't keep doing it over and over and over again. You only need to do it on um it really should keep extending across uh, a lot of the uh, the body. Q. 
Okay, so let me think. Let's I'm trying to think of something else that's on the building that might be kind of interesting. So there might be like kind of Uh, there might be like funny spotlights. Yeah, let me see. What's another? I'm trying to think of another thing that's on the building. I think I'm actually going to do some reflection. Actually, to do some of the building, not just the lights on the building. Let's do. We're actually going to do some architecture here. Mm hmm. Just kind of making up the building. We're going to do an Art Deco thing here. <sighs> oh, I was an art major. I actually did look up some architecture, so... This has got to be the best part of it all. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What's what's a really good Art Deco y thing to do? As you can tell, I'm not being all that careful with the colors or whatever. It's not. Mm, I don't like that. I'm going to look up some Art Deco right now. <laughs> Let's see. Art Deco Architecture. I think yeah, the Empire State Building, isn't it? That's one of them. The Chrysler Building, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I know what I'm thinking of. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna like start this over. Well, okay. So I'm gonna do the thing that I was gonna talk about. So the in the intermediate one, right? I'm putting the shine on top of the black. But for what I'm going to do for this one is the other way. Take this reflection actually below that one. Okay. And then drop that slightly. And then when we're, once we're done with that, we're going to actually, then we'll go, then we're going to go back and add on some, some of the shine on here that okay so let's go let's see let's do i worked so hard on the wayne part i'm gonna leave that alone <laughs> okay and since this is the light source we're gonna try to focus on the lighting not the actual building itself
So here we go. Let's see. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to think which... I think this is the Chrysler building that I'm doing. No, no, no. Which one is it? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing... This is the Chrysler building. So... Or I could try to do the, the building in Ghostbusters. First one. So you do that. To get to try to wrap around the arm. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna erase some bits of it because that's gonna show like the uh, the the structure, right? Like the girdings and the uh, the paneling. Let's see here. Yeah, the Chrysler building has a bunch of like triangle thingies in it. Yeah, whoops. Ah! I hate when I do this. Uh... Come on. Hmm... Uh. 
No, it's all messed up. <laughs> oh, what? Ah! I don't even use this one all that much. I'll take that. Take that out. Okay, because I wanted actually a different color. Okay. Since I know I'm going to be um, uh, reducing the opacity on this one, I'm going to go ahead and like do really intense uh, colors here. Okay. Yeah, and then I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do this one a little bit on the back end here. Cause there's supposed to be a little bit of the uh the building showing through. I'll get it. I'll, I'll take that back. I'll, I'll do it if I need it later. I hope it is. Let me see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to do... So this is kind of where the, the bottom is going to be. And then we're going to erase some of it. Just gonna erase some of these lines here. Da, 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 da. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious too. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so this is going to be kind of a weird one right here. We're probably going to have to mess with this one the part a little bit later. I'm going to do a different color because it's going to be like a different. I'm just going to put like another building in the back. Sort of the cityscape behind it. All right, so like another billboard down here. Yeah.
Probably not a lot of Kyle are doing around here. Or... Now I'm going to Tim Burton Batman, but that's okay. So that's sort of the cityscape. Okay, we're going to put that below there. Okay. I'm going to up the... the brightness on all of this here. We know I don't need that hardness there. So we do need to up all this here. Okay, we're gonna do this one. Make sure it's nice and bright. But that's the light source. Okay, boom. All right. Okay, so the other thing we got to do. So now we're going to do body shine. Do, 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 do. All right, so. Yeah, we're going to make this just slightly. I don't want to mess with it too much because we're going to do something else later that's going to mess with it a lot. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start to take some of this one. And just like we did before, um, we're going to use that to sort of make the edges shine on, on certain aspects of the... Uh, the uh, the figure so and we're going to try to focus on making the actually kind of sharp we're going to do kind of sharp reflections here Uh, you know what, let's, uh, let's make, yeah, let's keep everything kind of hard. Our world, this one. Kind of a harder edge. And we're just going to kind of uh, highlight bits and pieces of it, okay. We are going to use the reflection to kind of guide us on a little bit of the... Uh, 
where we're going to put some of the shine. So the same basic premise that we did before, which is whatever sort of pointed more directly at the viewer is going to be the one that's shiniest. And we're not going to worry too much. But exactly on the, the reflection or not. See here. Right, so like I said before, we're not going to worry too much about getting exactly the uh, uh, just need to make sure that that we're doing kind of what we did before in the beginner or the uh, intermediate. No, they see brighter. Nice. Okay. So. Oops, it's not that one. Body base color. Okay, yeah. Well, we're not going to do it quite that dark. Actually, no, we are going to do that car dark. Because we're going to do this one's going to be all the way black. Okay, so. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to actually reduce the uh, canvas here so we can actually see what we're doing. Okay. All right. So, actually, reflection. Actually, that's way too low. So we're gonna actually up that up. Okay. So, so this is this is how we're gonna kind of attain the um, effect that we want. The Right, like it's if if it's reflective, then it means it'll only show the colors. If it's reflecting a light source, then it's reflecting. Then it's going to show just what that light source is. It's not going to show the colors underneath exactly. If it's not reflecting a light source, then it's going to be just the color that it that actually is, which is black. Right, so. So what you often get is for um, when you get these sorts of reflections, you're actually um, when they look kind of funny, 
It's because you're actually seeing a bunch of mirror images kind of clashing across it, so we're gonna... We're gonna take that reflection... Right? See, because it's reflecting the building next to it. And then we're gonna take this body shine here, and what we're gonna do is... um. Gonna basically do is trying to try to match it a little bit more to the the rest of it. Uh, let's make it like okay. So what we're gonna do is we're what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna kind of smooth out a little bit of the um the shine, so that it doesn't look like such a scratch scratch. So we're going to go through and... It just has to be sort of smooth, and you need to just work out the uh, the brush strokes, which you need to do. And you just need to make some of this a little bit... Uh, smoother is all you need to do. up that hardness. So you're you're I'm just see if as you can tell I'm just sort of like making the the shapes more cohesive. They don't necessarily have to be necessarily any particular shape. They just you just don't want to see all the uh, the funny brush strokes in it. Later. You don't necessarily have to go all the way through all these brush strokes like what I'm doing here. I think you should have to go through through some of them. Okay. Oops, not that one. Yeah, no, I think that's fine. I don't really need to mess with this one. We're just going to leave that there. Quit messing with it. <laughs> right and again like this is not you don't have to be very exact on this part you just need to make each shape kind of cohesive try to get rid of the, the little brush strokes
Okay. So what I actually might Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Uh Okay, so this one here, because it's kind of coming in. Let's see here, gonna get rid of some of the shine right here. Yeah, so I'm gonna do some of the same thing here. I get just just to give sort of a bit of variety. Right, because the the material itself, the fabric, doesn't capture. Um. Isn't perfect in capturing the reflection, so it's going to mess up and get fuzzy in some cases. All right, so. And actually, let's see, we got that one, got that one. We might actually filter it a little. Distort, blur, blur a little. Did it do anything? Very little. Let's see. Okay, it's a little bit better. Okay, and what you can do to actually sort of make this make a little more sense is... Let's see, where is it? Is it this one? Oh, liquefy. Okay, good. So, Clips to Paint has the liquefy option, so I can kind of... I'll just do that. Uh, let me see. How do I want to do that? <laughs> so I'm going to do this to sort of mold the, the reflection to kind of fit the shape that... Uh, That's in the reflection, so. It also helps to make it so it's not so straight. Because then it looks like just like what I did, which I just drew right on top of it. I should have done this part first before I actually did the... Uh, 
Yeah. The, sh the shine, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Nice. And now I know the reflection is a little bit too distracting, so I'm going to actually up it in some places, but erase it in some. Again, following some of the basic principles that I had before, which is... If it's pointed away, I'm going to reduce it a little bit. And I wanted to find uh right I don't want it to distract from the rest of the uh, image. All right now this is a, this is a very sort of literal take on it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put this one into the front. Uh, shine is in the front light source. Now I'm going to do this for the, the back. I should put that below that one. So this is from the back source. Light. Light. And then we'll just, we'll just get really, we'll just get really cheap and just kind of do it the, the way we did it before. And the reason why we're doing this is less to be sort of really literal and more to and more to just bring out different aspects that wouldn't we wouldn't be able to see normally otherwise because it's so much of the uh because so much of this uh image is so black. Oh, wait, no, no, we're not going to do that one. We're going to do so. Du, 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 du. No, we're not going to do that one. We're going to blend it. Oops. Let's see here. And we're going to kind of... In this case, I guess, depending on how it's... Or the, that light source is directly, you would get the kind of halo effect here. You would get the kind of... Right, like, so this actually might be an okay time to... To actually paint all the way around the... Uh, this part of the figure with that. Because we were, were actually describing that particular light source.
can't do really. Oh, wait, no, not that one. What the airbrush? No, it's. Da, 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 da. Okay, and we're gonna keep going all the way down. Right, and like again, like this is we're doing this to sort of right the the contrast between light and dark. That's how you know something's really shiny. That's when you see that it helps. I might need to lasso part of this. Okay, so we're going to do kind of like the, like, right, the underside is capturing part of that light source now. See, I'm gonna get try to get that like more right along the line. Okay, I really need to do just the underside. Mostly because I need to get that, that shape. Because I want that shape. Okay. So we're going to actually change this one down a little. Okay. So we'll we'll just like drop the the cape. Um, because the the cape is just a little. Well, I'll finish the cape just to just for funsies. Um, but as you can see, right, like now it looks very, very, very shiny, right? It's it's that contrast between very dark and very light, and right. And notice that I've converted basically all the colors to almost just black. See, even without the reflections, it still looks very, very shiny. So I can actually kind of do this a little bit uh, till it's... Yeah, so... Right, so it's just barely sort of there. Okay. 
kind of want a little more reflection. Okay. Look at that. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to add more black on this stuff in here. But okay, that's pretty much it. Look at that. Looks ridiculously shiny. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to fidget and finish up a couple of fishing touches and I'll post it. Thank you very much.